Hi, it's John Wanar here. Today it's Sunday the 29th of uh, April 2018. Um, just a little clip to uh, the President uh, Trump of the United States. Um, this is a message for you from me. I'm John Hawani Kahaki Wanoa here in Auckland, New Zealand. I'm acting as a surrogate King William IV this flag in the background here um, <clears throat> for our people here in New Zealand, the Paramount Chiefs, um, in a private contract with this king in Britain, UK. Um, at the present time, I'm setting up an embassy in California with uh, Daryl Payen. Um, I've put a lot of effort into the years of designing what I think uh, is a good plan that I hope you would look at and um, give it some uh, consideration uh, for economic development of uh, the hydrogen economy. That's one thing with for using this flag as Admiralty in the sea and free passage through the world. But I'm particularly uh, interested in where your politics are going um, with uh, the current situation in the Pacific. Um, I'm acting as uh, five kings, surrogate, that's uh, with, um, first of all, with uh, King William III. He created the Bank of England Act and the Power Note Act and the Municipalities Act to collect the lease and the rents, fines and administrative costs for his corporate business in England. Um, so that's where I'm taking this eight point star. He created the um, uh, St. Patrick's municipalities um, of that part of the parliament in Westminster to collect the um, ground leases on lands in all the Commonwealth countries and those who are in partnership with Britain and the King's Empress. So we got, that's the first King. The second King is um, King George III, the father of King George IV, King Ernst Augustus I, and of course King William IV. The three brothers and those two Kings. And the first uh, of King William III is this eight-point star that is the most feature of commercial contracts in the private. I wanted to discuss this with you um, at some stage uh, in urgency of your uh, releasing the um, gold um, standard uh, money system or the... Um, a reset of your gold currency as money. Uh, so I want to look at that because we're using the pound note and King William's the third, the fourth gold currency money. He had that all in Westminster Parliament, the acts that I'm using from his 1830 to 1837 period and this flag being 1834 Declaration of Independence and Declaration of War flag state of emergency in times of like it is now when uh, there's a threat on our financial investment uh, contracts then we are the second party to a first party British King Emperor. Okay, Five Kings makes the Emperors of our time from King William III 1694 period of the Bank of England Act or I think it was reigning monarch in 1670, somewhere thereabouts, to 1702. And um, in that period of time, he's managed to um, um, express um, this flag as being a monarch sovereign of continuity of sovereignty through those five kings from 1694 to um, 1834, this flag the only king's flag in the world in private contracts um, that um, is still alive today. It has not been um, 
uh, extinguished because that's our business and we have never gone to change the partners of this flag. It's quite separate to the Queen and I'm taking an overall view of America is <coughs> indirectly owned by the Queen um, in the monarch situation of the Rothschild banks and Queen Victoria uh, and with King William being the king, um, the uh, prince regent in the time of 50 years of his navy and most of it in New York. He set up all of that commerce in the stock exchange and with the Bank of England Act continuing contracts. Okay, so I'm continuing contract and I'm hoping that you will be our partner in America because the way I'm looking at Britain at the moment, it's in a big mess. And the way the um, government um, has um, dismembered um, Westminster Parliament, but they cannot dismember this flag because it's there to rescue Britain and rescue all the Commonwealth countries, Mr. Trump. And I'm asking you gracefully to have an audience with me and my representative uh, surrogate in California, Daryl Payne, to have a meeting with him and I to come to bring one of these big flags he's got in his building and bring it and put it up in Washington DC. I think at this stage it was better to run Britain from there. That's my own personal research and experience in politics and also economic developments and technology, uh, in particular <coughs> digital age and banking. I've got all that uh, experience to share with you. Uh, though I'm a bit rough on the edges in documents, that's the way we do it. We're allowed to do what we want with documents, um, not forgetting that they are Freemasons documents that I'm using. From Scotland, uh, Edinburgh, where our paramount chief, Tira Waikato Whare Herehere Manukau, signed with King George IV, 1823, in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, a contract. And that contract stuck us together for life in um, statute law extant forevermore. And that still continues on today. It goes through Referee for Manukau and um, King William and um, John Rogan, um, surrogate king, that signed the sale and purchase agreement for um, land in Auckland here in Pukekai, um, a big area of land from one man, chief, that's a paramount chief, uh, successor of his um, um, ancestor from Cambridge in Hamilton, New Zealand to Cambridge, England on the master side of land titles uh, and in um, um, intellectual property rights. Okay, so uh, Mr. Trump, um, I'm watching your, your progress and I'm watching your performance. Uh, it's astounding, it's uh, quite exciting um, to see something happening here for the good. I'm saying for the good of the people of the world. The King's Common Law people of the world is who I represent with this flag. It's a Common Law people's flag. <coughs> it's to deter pirates from interfering or tampering with our contracts and that's what's been happening with the Queen. Sad to say the Queen has wrecked Westminster Parliament with all what's going on with pedophiles and all the rest of it. Fraud at its utmost in corruption and it's spilt off into America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and Britain uh, in a big way in South Africa and India. East India Company that's um, before them, King George III went to um, America. Uh, so that trail, I'm following the ship backwards, Mr. Trump. I'm following the ship backwards from the port of Gaul and its um, legacy. Uh, back to Britain and so I want to um, share with you uh, our highlight which is the Moai tidal turbine projects in the sea for the hydrogen economy 
<coughs> to power up the new British Lapcat um, A2 aircraft and the Sabre aircraft uh, to have fly um, in a different way now uh, than fossil fuels. We're going into the tidal turbines which will make bulk power and I want to start with you in California and all the areas around in America and also right through the Pacific. We have 60 of these tidal energy bridges going right through the Pacific Islands and around the edges of the uh, Ring of Fire area of our Moai <coughs> founding um, memorial titles that uh, I think you know about. We have a Moai standing in New York and Washington DC. That is my own Wanoa people, our, our tribe in East Island and New Zealand. Uh, that's our headstone in um, Queen Elizabeth, the great second, Queen Elizabeth the second great court in London Museum. That's our Maui standing right there as um, the um, spiritual side of the LORE law as to men's law, LAW. So, deeds of truth, that's what I'm all about, uh, Mr. Trump. And so, uh, with that, I want to... Um, put that into the shares, into what we are releasing on the gold standard um, with uh, new currencies and um, putting the pound note out at the present time that's already in the NZ Bank in New Zealand, Auckland and that 920, 970 million trillion trillion pound note is over all the debt right through the world that's been created from these five emperor kings between that period 1694 and 2000 and 18 period. So all that commerce is an authority from a king who invented it in the first place. It wasn't the king or the queen, it was the kings, okay, in the commercial contracts. Uh, so um, um, I'm working with Daryl Pan and I'm giving him authority, I've given him authority to use this flag and the chiefs here in New Zealand, this is the irony, is they are on the Maori side, which is an invention of the Crown Corporation in Wellington, New Zealand. That's quite separate from King and Paramount Chief. Totally different uh, contracts. And so they're playing around with this flag, Mr. Trump. It's not their flag. It was not given by a king for Maori. The Maori word itself is a patent and iwi of the Crown Corporation of New Zealand and John Key and all the other Prime Ministers that have gone past and defrauded the people of New Zealand and especially the Paramount Chiefs. The Chiefs that are there now for the Government of New Zealand are fraudulent and I've caught them out Mr Trump, I've caught them out on Cook Street and we're going to clean that property out and clean the rest of it because one land is the same as all the land in the world with the same fraud title. The Queen's land is the King's land. It belongs to him when there is a threat on his interests and his beneficiaries of his estates and his corporate companies. Then seizure is the only point in question to bring them back. That's what happened here in Waitangi. Uh, up north, the British seized the lands when the Maoris put up a fight. And redid the titles back under the Manukau title in Helensville and that's the titles I'm using as a precedent case for all the titles in the world from Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Mm -hmm. That's the land for you Mr Trump. I'm proficient in land and history of the Moai statue. It's standing in France by the way and Belgium so it's in the most powerful places. It's in Singapore so Wherever there's luck, Mr. Trump, Maui is standing right there. That's my memorial title to the Earth planet. Well, put it that way, it's everybody's. Uh, so we have no guns, we have no war, we have no violence, just peace, love and harmony in our L-O-R-E, law of truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. So, <clears throat> with that, I just wanted to um, reiterate on where we are at the current present time. 
I'm with Daryl and I. I'm going to Philippines. I'll be there for 11 days. And uh, should you require an audience with Daryl and I, I will quickly spring in to come and see you and bring the big flag to you. Straight from here, join up America under the Commonwealth and join Britain to be one state enterprise under this flag, besides the American flag. Okay, so that's really what I want to say. Uh, see my friend there in Philippines is on the line now, but um, Facebook. I've got a lot of stuff on Facebook as well, and Twitter and Google, YouTube. Mr. Trump, you can see that everything that I do is for a reason, and that reason is to bring us out of infancy states in under the Queen. They're still infant states. We want to be free of all of that and start fresh with clean slate. Okay, so uh, with that in mind, I'm just saying that before you release or reset your currency with your goal, I'm saying that the pound note, the Moai, Powerhouse Bank power note is going right across the top of everything missing or everything stolen or everything derived through the Admiralty Court Martial Law and its jurisdiction of <coughs> authority, continuity of sovereignty all of this time, only from 1600s to 1800s, 200 years <coughs> of commercial trade. It's exactly 193 years to the date of 1822 now on our side of the uh, legal uh, authority. Okay, so if we can join forces, I'm on the native side of the titles that have been used by the New South Wales government um, under the Te Ture Whenua 1993 Native Land Act in New Zealand have usurped it. This government here, Mr. Trump, has been fraudulent to hand it over to Australia for their Commonwealth of Australia government. They used the 1986 Constitution of New Zealand, which is fraudulent, come out of the 1852 Constitution, that's our Constitution from the King, and the 1946, 1846 Constitution and the 1852 Constitution. Those two constitutions are the only constitutions that we have straight to this flag. This is a constitutional flag, Mr. Trump. It is a commercial trading bank military protectorate flag. And it's in the four corners of the earth. The blue that you see on the between the cross is the sea of Admiralty and the skies. Hang on a second, just hold there. I've just got to send a message through. Just wait on a second. Let me see. It's my girlfriend in the Philippines. Okay, that's that. Right. Um, so, I, I just want to um, add here uh, that um, that it's very crucial very serious business of what the Queen has done to defraud the people of New Zealand and the Pacific Islands and Britain and, dare I say it, America, Canada and Australia. They have taken too much, Mr Trump, 
they have taken too much and got too greedy and forgot about everybody else. And they are the ones causing all the trouble in the world, shooting everybody up with this flag. It's for pirates on the high seas and on the high lands to stop anyone tampering with our contracts. So they made their contracts and they use it in the opposite direction to make people the pirates and them the good ones. So with your help we can reverse that quite quickly. Mr Trump, President, if you can get what I mean we can have this sorted in no time. I'm an ex-real estate so I know what you are uh, in your profession that um, I'm into land and um, transactions and mortgages and things like that and also um, a fair bit of um, engineering to know what to do and politics. I've learned a lot in the time that I haven't been on my own land because the Crown and the Queen has stopped me, the real owner, and put legal owners on there who are not even owners of the land. That's the problem, Mr Trump. That's the problem. I've got 30 blocks I can't even get on one because somebody else is there saying it's theirs. Legally it's theirs on paper, but that's my ancestors' land. These ancestors I'm telling you about in East Ireland that came here in the first place. And these other ones who have no interest in the land itself, only the bank documents. That's where the problem is. The banks, uh, Rothschild banks and every other bank, that's screwing everybody. And the pound note goes right across the top of everybody in the world. So I'm saying all the gold that's missing, <coughs> the 300 um, million metric tons of gold in the Caribbean, that belongs to King William III, the Dutchman. This is Zealand, New Zealand, N-U-Z-E-E, -E, land. That's Dutch here. This is this proves that it's Dutch and Dutch on East Island. Um, uh, Rapa Nui to Mokonui on my land blocks at the East Cape. So those go together, Mr. Trump. The, the signals are there for us to do something. Uh, it's your opportunity to, to make this work because I've done my homework and I'm sure you would have done yours as well. Darrell has done his homework. He's been very good, vigilant in everything I've been doing all these years. And also Andy and Jackie Little Gordon in um, Aberdeenshire in Scotland, um, close to Edinburgh. Uh, and they have been watching me all these years. Um, doing right up to now. I've done a lot of work to get our land back in the rightful owners of the King's Common Law people. So with that, um, I want to um, um, give this video to Daryl because he's representing Americans um, here as a surrogate straight to Britain. So we're going straight to Britain from America and I see you're going to meet Theresa May. I know already what, what the intention is. I know that the Queen didn't want you to go to, to the Philippines because of that goal there. Uh, um, there's 1.7 million metric ton, tons of gold there. So I'm going there to talk to Duterte, President. And uh, he's using the British Admiralty Law, Mr Trump, to seize the lands with this declaration of war flag or state of emergency flag means someone is threatening the financial part of the country. And in Britain, the Queen has threatened all the people uh, with bringing in Muslims and uh, uh, um, consenting or signing off the Parliament uh, putting all these wicked things uh, to smash Westminster the bits. It was her and Gordon Brown in 2008. I've watched it all the way through and documented it all the way through. President, I've documented everything on the Lisbon Treaty with the Queen and 
before, during and after shots of what she did and took away the people's sovereignty and put it in the EU Parliament and stole the money out of each from Treasury and took it over there and hid with King William III in the Netherlands. Little does she know that's this flag of King William III. That's our investment interest, Mr. Trump. That's our partner. This flag is our partner in the Netherlands and the World Court. I don't have to go to the World Court. I've got my court anywhere I want in the world with this flag. Okay, so I'm just expressing to you our legal authority and jurisdiction to follow the bank magistrate court to recover all the stolen debt, stolen money and debts owed. We're settling the accounts in ancient treasuries. Donald, we're settling the account, calling up the account and settling it. We are the contractor to the British Westminster government and Navy, Royal Navy, Sir Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea. That's our legal and legitimate partner, Mr. Trump, the Navy, the Navy in this flag and the contract that we have with him, not the government, with him in that jurisdiction. Okay, so with America being its realms of its own, where it's conquered lands, with whose authority? That's the question I want to keep private with between me and you. It's whose authority that America went around shooting everybody up with all the money and the Navy and the military there under whose authority? And I can tell you it's Britain's authority overall. Um, but we'll talk about that another time. In the meantime, you're a real estate agent and I am too. So we just cut a deal. And I want to make sure that the Freemasons, one, you are, that's what I'm picking you are, uh, that I'm using their documents, I'm scribbling all over them, but I have a right to, a legal right to, because those belong to the King. Everything who is a contractor and an agent of the Crown Corporation, that Crown Corporation belongs to the King. That's what I'm saying. I'm here speaking for the King because there ain't no King there that can stand up to these five Kings. Not Queen Elizabeth, not Queen Victoria, not King George VI, they didn't put this together, Mr. Trump. They didn't put it together. They didn't inherit all this knowledge. It was these five kings that I told you. Okay, so we are the native chiefs. We are the ones that originate from the land, and it's my word against anyone's. The Native Land Act of Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and, they are said, America comes out of this Te Ture Whenua 1993 Native Land Act and the Constitution of 86, 1986 of the 1852 Constitution. That's our Constitution with this flag. It's still there in the 1846 Constitution. It was changed to 1852. I'm using it. I'm using that authority, Mr. Trump and also the 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand is used in America because I saw it on the documents. 1862 was Rehle from Manukau, Paramount Chief, and John Rogan, my family member, the judges, that's my family, the Rogans married the Wainors, and the Cosgroves lawyers married the Wainors, and that's the end of that legal side in this country around these memorial titles to the land. You ask yourself, whose land is it? It's either the Crown or a Native Chief. I'm sticking up for them, Native Chiefs. The first inhabitants in the first place. Right, so that aside, we're talking commercial contracts, Mr. Trump. We're talking business. And I want to do business with you and Daryl Pan and Jackie Little Gordon and Andy Little Gordon. He's uh, more English and she's Scottish. And my family, the Patricks, this Patrick, eight-point star, 
Mr. Trump, that's my family in Northern Ireland, Belfast. The DUP party. I'm going to join that party with the Moai King William Ford party. Matt Taylor's our manager in Brighton, England, with our company there, Mr. Trump, the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company. That's got a billion shares there. And the main parent company here in New Zealand, Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited, Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited, one of a trillion shares. That's split into 250 countries at £25 a share. Okay, so those are our bottom line, Mr. Trump. That's our bottom line. The shares, the gold, the pound note, the flag, the kings, five kings, and the paramount chiefs. Does that make sense to you? Because if it does, I want to talk to you in private. Nobody's business. This is a private contract flag. Nobody's business. That's why the Queen got away with it so long. Because no one could go next to her except the King and myself. Okay, so one last thing. Who abdicates to be the king on the throne, we're putting a sailor law together again because the kings forbids women to be succeeding to the throne. It was a queen that got rid of King Ernest Augustus V that is living there now in London, 64, and she took his title away. And But he still has a prince title of Britain. UK. And that's the title I'm using as him being king, Mr. Trump. My oath of office goes to him and our chiefs here. There's not many paramount chiefs here. They are all mischiefs with the Queen. I'm saying to the Queen and her family that they know they have defrauded the people of Britain, UK, and even Europe. She has ended her wicked ways with this flag on top of her head, bounty. Okay, we're using the bonds of the birth certificates, Mr. Trump, is it one trillion pounds on each bond birth certificate that's been used on the stock market and used for every other business the Rothschild banks have used and everybody else has used. I'm sure you would understand what I'm saying. Many people have done well out of it and not told anybody. And so it's our authority is that pound note goes right across everything that's owed and due and payable in cash, gold, properties, land, business, seas of. Forthwith, Mr. Trump, that's my business, is <coughs> private investigator, full business, total energy projects, hydrogen economy, hydrogen jet fuel and rocket fuel production, and also <coughs> gold, water money, and power note currency. Those three currencies are online. I'm making claims to that with this flag, Mr. Trump, and it's jurisdiction stays there in private contract. So I want to bring everybody into contract and keep that going. It's not going to go away in a hurry. So the United Nations has um, a wide power over the world. And for you, you would have to make your own new partners. You have a difficulty there of going into each country. This flag's free passage, Mr. Trump. It will take you into all the countries. I'd prefer to be there while you're there. I think I have a little bit of trust in you to do that. For me, because I'm just one man with a plan. The mission's over. So this flag, I'll say one more time, that it is instrumental or instrument, legal instrument, to seize on all the stolen property to seize on all the stolen gold that's missing, when you use the gold 
on a currency, it has to be somewhere where people can actually see it, not paper thin like the Rothschilds. That's straight fraud. That's what we're using to seize everything off them and everybody else who's benefited from it. Mm -hmm. You get that? So I hope that you've got what I mean because I'm rather tired today and I've got to head off in the plane soon. Um, first of a lot of trips to come. And so I want to make sure that you understand what this flag means. It has four eight point star flag, um, stars in the corners, four corners there, north, east, south, west. We call it Ma Atua Ewa Aotea, New Zealand. Four corners of the world from New Zealand or Nahoefa, the four corners of the earth. Um, add to that um, the um, <coughs> for the red small cross is these kings, these five kings, emperors of commerce, king of commerce, and in the king's bench court, and the big cross is the six Georges. Right? You've got King George the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So I've only chosen the King George the third, the founder of America, 1776, the father of King William the fourth, and Ernest Augustus the fifth, uh, first, and King William the fourth, King George the fourth, King William the fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the first. Those three brothers, and that King George the third. It's the little cross with. King William III in the little cross and the other cross, the big, the bigger one is those King George 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Okay? So King George V, he, uh, under the Deprivations Act, I'm using that, to seize back um, Ernst Augustus' title as King of Britain, UK, that the Queen took away. And she left, left the gate open for women to go in and be kings. No, the king did all the work, not the woman. That's what I'm saying. Salic law applies in Westminster City. So the city of London belongs to the Rothschilds. The city of Westminster belongs to this flag and the Paramount Chiefs and Ernest Augustus to get and bankrupt the City of London business. Okay, you got that? With the bound note, that's what I've done. Everything that has been fraudulent has got this bound note, 970 million trillion trillion bound note over its business, right from 1820 to 2018, all that period, all the way through. That's what it adds up to, Mr. Trump. So you can take your bit of gold and America, I don't know, I don't know, I think it's 900 metric tons of gold, 9,000 metric tons of gold, so they're all the same. Well, what happened to the gold in New York? I want to know where that's gone. Who, who, who did that? And, and where is that gone? And who financed all the fraud in America? America has been the biggest fraud outfit, Mr. Trump, in history, because the British Queen allowed that to happen. She's the master of fraud and treason. She went to a treason school, private school, and learned how to do all of that. That's why I'm saying it's returns, stolen returns. Land stolen, land returns to the common people of the king. I think I've said enough. So with that, I'll upload it to YouTube today on Sunday, the 29th of April 2018. And I will, I, I've just got a email back from Thailand, Mr. Trump. That company's been after me since October last year to have a look at the tidal energy plans. I was hoping that the Philippines would be the first because New Zealand, it hasn't got a clue. It doesn't know nothing about big plans. It rather ignorant. And the Maori is no different, Mr. Trump. They are on their own path 
and I know where that's going. Everything Maori turns to dust because that belongs to these thugs and pirates of the Queen Elizabeth. I can say that out loud because I've got a bone to pick with her. So don't go near her. You can go to Theresa May, she's the Lord of the Treasury, so you can tell her where's all the money gone and tell the Queen to give it back because I'm coming to get it with this flag and a few other people with a pound note that's going to pay the military over there 50 billion just to start us and everybody else to go and look for it, Mr Trump. This flag and the pound note will go and recover everything in the world in each country that the British went into, including your country. <coughs> okay, so give me a call. You got my number? Plus six four two oh four oh eight five one oh four two. Any time. Or give me a little tweet. Uh, you're good at tweets. I, I, I don't tweet much, but Monday I'll be tweeting again. And or Facebook. Um, on Facebook we've got 107 sites on Facebook. A lot of information, Mr. Trump. Plenty of information. I give away freely for anybody to go over and see if it suits them. So I'm here for the people, Mr. Trump. I'm not here for myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in a little rented place like this. I can't even get on my land. I just want go back on it in my time and put some people on there, okay? So, what's that? Have a nice day. Here's the eight-point star on the head. This is the sheriff's head. He can go and do the work for you. We train him up to do it this way, Mr. Trump. We're going to stick with the British land laws of England. Pound note. <coughs> Mr. Terrell was asking me, um, the values of the land. <coughs> your <coughs> your land over there is going to be valued up on the pound note level because with your new currency coming, that's going to take a little while to introduce. I'm going straight on the old British laws and I don't have to make a single thing. It's all there for me. Everything was done for me because I know what to do. I know what I'm doing, Mr. Trump, and you know what you're doing. So let's get together and have a little powwow. Daryl Payne, he's more French. Mr. Macron, you just had a meeting with him. Looks like you were making kisses. Looks all right to me. That's friendly. But let's get together and make this work. Make the world great again. Because it's a big, fat mess. And stop all those chemtrails in the sky, poisoning people and killing them. That's what these other thugs and pirates are doing. The flag's going to stop them, Mr. Trump. You're going to do it with it. Okay? I'm going to give you the flag to stop that all because that's how it started. This flag started it all up in the wrong hands. It got hijacked by pirates, Mr. Trump. Okay, see you later. Have a nice weekend. Bye.